Ocean pollution is a major problem on this planet, and we're finding that the plastic floating on top of the water in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is breaking down into microplastics and sinking to the bottom of the ocean, making it even more difficult to clean up. So now what? There are many companies working on solutions to clean up the ocean, but one company, the Ocean Cleanup, has developed a system for pulling plastic out of the ocean and is now creating products made of that recycled plastic. Joining me today is Boyan Slat of the Ocean Cleanup, and they have come full circle. Today they are unveiling a new product they have produced out of plastic that they have harvested from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Boyan, thanks for joining me, and how are you doing today? My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So you guys are unveiling a pair of sunglasses that you made out of ocean plastic. Can you just walk us through that process? How did you break apart the plastic and how are you producing these sunglasses? Sure. So, uh, so it's been quite a challenge really. Of course, the most challenging step was to actually collect the plastic. The, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is, is 2,000 kilometers from shore. Uh, you know, it took years to of course, develop the technology to a point that we harvested our first plastic. But we got that done last year. We took the first plastic to port and then we had to set up our own supply chain to to turn that the trash into basically treasure to clean up more trash because of course you know, we are a nonprofit so the only reason why we do this is to help clean more plastic from the ocean and um, you know, the idea is that uh, by recycling this into you know, a beautiful sustainable product in this case sunglasses um, that we hope to create a, a new revenue stream uh, through which we can actually fund the continuation of the cleanup. So once it was in port, of course, we then had to sort the waste. We had to wash it, shred it, um, then uh, recycle it into sort of new, uh, a new base material. And uh, eventually, with our partners, we were able to to turn this into, I think, a, a really nice product. So can you walk us through the process? So I've seen like the little jars. They look like little beads of plastic. Yeah. So. So when the plastic comes to to land, it's it's really quite quite mixed and it's uh, encrusted with salt. It's uh, yeah, the stuff sometimes has been floating out there for for decades. So it's it's really quite degraded as well. The first thing we had to do is to uh, to basically uh, separate the stuff that's still usable from the stuff that that's more degraded to really get to the pure plastic. We had to shred it. We had to mold it into indeed those pellets. Uh, then we um, added a, a few percent of, uh, of additives to ensure that the material is, is strong enough to give it its, its color back. And that then we were able to, uh, to use injection molding with to, to actually mold into uh, the, the, the sunglasses. So one question I had was, are the lenses part of that recycled plastic that you found too? Because I was wondering, like, how do they do lenses? Yeah, no, if only we could do that. No, it's, it's really the frame that's, uh, that's made from. It's, it's the frame. Okay, cool. Other parts, we, um, everything that could be made out of recycled material, we, we did. So uh, you know, from, of course, the, the packaging to um, you know, the, the case, the case that's coming in, we recycled that from material that used to be our uh, first cleanup system. Uh, and even like the hinges of the, of the, of the sunglasses are made from uh, recycled stainless steel. So we, so what could be recycled, we did. But of course, um, you know, it's really the frame that's made from the plastic we took out of the ocean. I got to say, they look pretty cool. They look really stylish. Do you have a pair that you could model for us? Oh, yeah. So here they are. And uh, yeah, I think it's really quite incredible to, to look at this. It, you know, it has a really premium feel to it. And uh, to think this was toxic garbage floating in the middle of the ocean about a year ago is, uh, yeah, to me, quite, quite unbelievable, really. So... They look really uh, neat. They're all, they're pretty awesome. And it has the yeah. Ocean Cleanup logo on the side? It does, yeah. And, um, and actually on the inside, it has a, has a QR code. And if you then scan that with your phone, you can actually see footage of plastic being taken out of the ocean that's now in your pair of sunglasses. So, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Have to so one thing it. I don't know right now is how much do they cost? So um, each pair is going on sale now for $199 available through our website and um, with it we of course are using all of the proceeds to uh, go back to the mission with which actually which means that actually one pair uh, equates to cleaning uh, 24 football fields worth of the garbage bench so of course we're not doing this because we you know <laughs> we thought the world needs another you know beautiful product it's really 
you know, the reason why we're doing this is because we um, you know, we want to you know, create uh, a way to to fund the cleanup really. And it's also kind of like a proof of concept too that you guys were able to go out in the ocean, collect plastic, and make something beautiful out of it. Correct? Yeah. Um, so it's because it's never been done before. Um, the um, uh, and of course we're now quite limited in terms of the amount of plastic that we have. It was because the plastic was just uh, um, an addition. The main purpose last year was to to test the technology, uh, but of course in coming years we'll we'll get hopefully a much larger volume of plastic to shore um, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, to really scale this up as well. So do you guys have systems currently running right now in the Pacific Garbage Patch? Um, so at this moment we of course have the interceptors in, in rivers uh, yeah. in terms of the clean plastic that's already in the ocean. Um, you know, this year was really about uh, developing the, the next generation technology um, so taking the lessons from what we learned last year in the patch and applying them to the, the system that we're deploying next year, which is going to be system two. We can catch plastic, but now it's about scaling it to a size that can actually uh, clean, the, clean the patch. And um, yeah, so hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll be deploying that in the patch. Um, so how many interceptors do you guys have deployed right now around the world? So we have three interceptors in the water right now. Uh, one is in Jakarta, one is in Malaysia, and one is in Indonesia. And um, yeah, I hope to um, really start out rolling out a lot more uh, beginning of um, the next year, so in, in a few months from now. Uh, so we're now preparing for series production, and uh, we'll hopefully see a lot more of the interceptors in, in rivers around the world. How much garbage are they pulling out of the river on a daily basis? Do you guys have figures on that? Yeah, so of course we're still in the um, yeah, kind of the, the debugging phase to, to really get the uptime that we want. Um, so this year, it's actually quite challenging with, uh, with COVID when, uh, you know, of course, you know, if you can't empty them because the country's in lockdown, uh, of course you're not going to have the, the uptime that you want. And, uh, and also when uh, we have to fly in spare parts, you know, all of that has been, um, was really delayed this year. Um, but um, you know, theoretical capacity is, is roughly um, you know, 50, uh, 50 cubic meters per, per load. And uh, I think the record catch that we had now was um, a full system, so 50 cubic meters in uh, four and a half hours. So, uh, so <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, but of course, again, I think we, we really need to work on getting the, um, you know, the uptime and the, the reliability where we want it to be. I think you know, there are some worrying trends in that, uh, you know, yes, of course, the amount of um, single-use plastic has increased tremendously this year. The, uh, of course, the oil price is extremely low right now as well, which means that it's much more attractive to make new plastic rather than recycle existing plastic. So I do think you know, those are trends that you can expect to see back in the amount of plastic flowing to the ocean. Um, so um, yeah, so it's definitely uh, enough work to do still. So, do you guys have any other products in development now that you're that you're trying to create with the recycled plastic? Well, I think we'll do um, we'll do a few more for sure. Um, it's uh, for, we're just starting with sunglasses because I think it's uh, yeah, it makes sense. It's, it's something durable, so it doesn't end up back in the ocean, and it's also something you carry around. And of course, the, the ocean clip. We're fully dependent on, on word of mouth to uh, raise awareness about what we do. So, um, so in that sense, I think sunglasses make sense. Um, we had received tremendous amount of um, good suggestions, I think, from from our supporters of what else we could could make from this. And um, yeah, so we're, we're definitely thinking about doing more than than, than just sunglasses. Uh, but well, we're starting with one, and then uh, see how much uh, interest there is in, in actually. Uh, and, you know, getting involved with this. Cool. When will the sunglasses go on sale and where can people buy them? So the Ocean Cleanup sunglasses are available right now through our website, theoceancleanup.com. And uh, again, every pair should uh, be able to, to allow us to clean 24 football fields worth of, uh, of Great Pacific Garbage Bag. That's amazing. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time, Boyan, and good luck today on your big unveil. I'm excited to watch it. Thank you. I do recommend if you want one to you know, get it all quickly because I think um, 
yeah, I do expect that. Of course, we can only make 25k of them now because of uh, the amount of plastic we have. I think the next plastic will be turned into sunglasses towards the end of next year. So, um, cool. Uh, yeah, if you, if you want to get hold of them, I'd recommend uh, signing up quickly. <laughs>